Uh, is this tall enough? Yeah. Hello? Darkly. The capital doesn't bother sending dynasts here. Well, we don't really need them. There's nothing of value to steal. And not much to see or do. I like the shadows of the pit, but I wish Grandpa Party Pooper would let me see the world outside one of these days. We've got it all here. Alright, how many does this take? There we go. Ta-da! Oh, right, yeah. I keep thinking they're going to be um, silkworm threads, but they're not. Hello. Rose. Jack. I miss him and his little silver scales so much. The thought of him as if hundreds of toothpicks were piercing me at the same time. Master Miladay and my family's convinced that being around a silverfish will only cause me trouble. Please take him this gift from me. Jack is not a very good swimmer, so I thought of giving him a board as unsinkable as our love. Seven? Really? Ah. Okay, well, I don't have seven. Uh... Da, 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 this way. Hello? This is more. Si oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Copper Sage, it's nice of you to come talk to us. Many people call us disgusting, dirty. However, it's because of our lifestyle that the house is kept clean. I mean, we have enough to eat thanks to these people. I'm not complaining. And Benedict. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. I was praying to Ardwin. The temple in Sanctar is not very welcoming to my kind, so most of us pray alone in our own way. Yeah, I mean... Kind of comes with the territory, I guess, you know? Unappreciated. And no one wants you around. Alright, green ones? Yeah, green ones, okay. So... Okie dokie. So, let's go. Ah, I, I took my off the screen. This way. Alright. Yeah, no silkworm threads. I guess that must be specific to this place. Uh, what's through here? Oh, this is just higher up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Through here, through here. Hello? Brett, your favorite food, my dear. Mick crabs for a change. Daddy, daddy, someone's in here. Oh, Mylodane, you want some Mick crabs too? Here, this is the last one. The restaurant that sells them was on the atrium side. Daddy, we have to eat. Stop feeding all the strangers who come by our house. Well, they're all skinny. You're right, little one. I'm just being too scared. Generous. Master Milodane, I'll have to keep this delicious McCrabs, but help yourself to the pollen if you wish. I want to help you in your quest. Oh, I thought you were going to give me some pollen. Hmm. Alright, well, I've not seen any other electrical outlets yet. Right. Is this... Hmm, I don't think that's tall enough. So, let's go go... I'll try it. Oh, it is tall enough. Nice. Hello? Cherubim. Mum, who's Ardwin exactly? Carmelita. It's complicated. We don't really know. Ardwin is someone watching over us. That's why you need to say thank you, you understand? I don't know. Why don't we go and see him in the cathedral in Sancta? Ardwin is kind. He helps all whether they sit in a great cathedral to pray or pray at home in their room. Ah. Well, I guess. Thanks, Mr. Ardwin. Thanks for being kind to everyone. I haven't figured out what Ardwin is a pun for yet. Because this game does love its puns. Uh, sure, we'll go this way. Uh, I, I can already tell there's a silk string thing. The door to the atrium is closed. So you'll not be able to exit from our pit. Fortunately, the air vent above is still open. Yeah, I know. Alright. Uh, on behalf of my constituents, I beg you to help us make amends with the saltfish. In return, you'll receive a recompense and all our gratitude. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, right, let's go down first, since I can always get back up. Where does this go? Oh! 
secret entrance. Where does this go? Because we went down to get to Foliana. Uh, to get to here, rather. Where could this possibly end up? Oh, it is just the way we came in. Okay. Strange, but... Okay, on reflection, it makes sense. Because obviously, yeah, Party Pooper was right there. So, okay. Never mind, never mind. So that's the other thing as well. Uh, Pikmin has a... 2D map that you can kind of like mark on to say, right, I want to go here, I want to go here, I want to go here. This game doesn't have a map, um, mainly because the levels aren't actually that big, but also a 2D map doesn't really help when you're trying to go, well, vertically. Yeah. Oh, right, I was uh, in the right place. Cool. There we go. Alright, uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. No else to go? Cool. Alright, so we want to head in. Can I make this? I can probably make that. Just having multiple bubbles is so convenient. But it's like they're almost incentivizing you to find all of the pollen. Because then you get more like more ability to find even more pollen, you know? Uh yeah, we'll go this way. Can I reach you? Aha. There we go. See. Scratch off right now. Good little camera angle change. I mean, I said this last time, but just uh, the simple act of being like, oh, there's a, a glowing golden thing. I'm going to go over there and look for it, and I'm going to pick it up. Because, uh, well, there is a fine balance between having so many things on a, like a map to find that is... It makes the experience of trying to find everything kind of exhausting. Like, if anyone's ever tried to get 999 moons in Super Mario Odyssey, you do kind of get to a point where it's like, oh, where, where, where's the last moon? What am I trying to do? What's the puzzle? What's the thing? Whereas in this, it's like, the pollen is mostly obvious, and it's leading you in paths that you want to go in anyway. And that's kind of like the strength of... Um, having this kind of like design of right we want to point the player in specific directions so we're going to use this literally glowing object or golden object to help them do that and also not wasting the player's time in getting around to those places like here we've got the soap board to travel quickly but there's also the fact that you're getting all of the shortcuts and uh uh, the silk string as well to say right I, I am over here I want to get over there how what's the quickest way over there and usually it's like find something to glide on or uh, well just soap board over to uh, yes same thing All right, so it says 10 tiny pin there. So yeah, you, you need to be able to sort of spread them out a bit. But not too far. There we go. We have unlocked the door. Perfect! I knew those little zappy fellows could help us. Clorox should be through this passageway. Let's hope you can find some way to help her. We can't leave these poor people to suffer. Also, we really need the citizens of the city. Well, before we do that, uh, I haven't actually seen Sing uh, Sikari yet, actually. 
come to think of it. So I don't know if they're even here to do the the nectar thing for us. But yeah, I might as well kind of keep on keeping on. Especially seeing as we get the ability to just go all the way across. Ta -da! Okay, so this is the lamp we turned on a while back, but we didn't actually do anything with it. Hmm. Right. There we go. Ta da! Wow, I really haven't found a lot of pollen here, actually. 229 out of a possible 900. So I'm wondering whether going through the vent into the atrium counts as the same area. Nice. Okay. Alright, so where does this go? Aha! Envelopes. Tall. I have no idea what to say, I'm sorry. You should probably cut this dialogue short. I'm worried it might bore you. Well, I was going to mention this actually. Um, just having little interludes of people to talk to does make this feel better than just like a, a normal collectathon. Like, I can't remember ever speaking to many people in like Banjo and Kanjiri. Like obviously you've got the mole and you've got... Um, the, the female character, I forget the name. It's been a while since I've played Band of the to be fair. But from what I can remember, there's not too many people to talk to. Here there's a lot more. Benka, I sense a big change coming. Usually the tiny kin lie dormant in their eggs. Since you arrived, they've been hatching and following you, all excited. With great power comes great responsibility. Try to be careful with these little creatures, will you? Uncle Ben. Benka. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, manually aiming to try and do a puzzle from really far away does actually work. Good, good, alright. Is that all the candles? Oh, that's what it was. There was a thing on the very top of the lamp. Alright. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I think those are 50 each. Uh, and in terms of other things to do, there's an artifact all the way below us. Still below us? Oh, yes, of course, right. I've got enough now, right? Up to, up to. Where are the... Where is Jack? I would assume near the water somewhere, but... Hmm. And you're not the office, post office. Right, you're in this way. Where is Jack? Wait, am I going the long way round just because of the fact that I'm holding a... Let's see, do they get stuck? Oh! Yeah, they are trying to go that way. Weird. Alright, well that door probably opens then. But those, those tidy kind of stuck doing their thing now. Alright, well, fair enough. As always, we probably don't need those tiny kin to solve any more puzzles around here. So climbing, climbing, climbing. Alright, so that was one relic, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No! Ah! Okay. So. Yeah, but they're blocked. Yeah, everything's on the other side of the door, I think. So, uh, let's go further up. Ooh, I wonder if that window opens. 
Oh, there's a bit of pollen up here. Cool. Ah. Interesting. Okay. No, you need way more than four bubbles to get all the way over there. Let's go. Ah. I thought it was going to go into a cutscene, actually. The other side of the room! So, yeah, bathroom. Yes, hello, hello. We are truly very sorry, we would hope... Racket. Nah, not cool, not cool at all, dude. Master Milodane, has party people explained the situation? We've always gotten along and here you are killing the mood because of a few decibels. It's over, dude. We don't want any more dung beetles in the atrium. The festivities in the atrium absolutely must start up again, but the silverfish are at the end of their rope, and someone took the scissors of the city. Here are the organizers, I think. Would you by any chance mind having a word with them? Sure. I'll clean up your mess. Which is ironic, obviously. All uh, right, so pink tiny can. Uh, yeah, we'll wait until we get the silver string thing. Hello, Bill Dill. It's awful. Vince has got it into his head that he's going to restart the party by creating the greatest song ever. He has to stop. Vince Gap. I do think, I think, I think that it's a sink. I think, I think that it's a sink. Think, think, sink, sink. Bill Dill Vince Gaff. I, again, not getting what that's supposed to be for. Okay. Ah, no. Kind of weird that he just explodes. Like, it's not even a drowning situation, it's just... Nope, you are gone. Alright, so... Seventeen? Oh, I've got just enough. Oh, calling them back brings all of them. Alright, so... Duh. Oh, but they do sort of come back by themselves, actually, if they're not doing something. That's nice. Try again. Oh, yeah, you can kind of, like, lead them a bit further on as well. Like, if one's too far, you put one in the middle. There we go. Oh. Let's grab these blue ones while we're here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought they were getting blown away for a second. Can I climb this? No, okay. Ah! All right, so I can only climb the blue, sh uh, the green strings, because they're the ones that you have to manually kind of create as a path forward. Doo -doo -doo. Grab you as well. All right, uh, let's head over here. Well, I'm curious about this boat, because this is obviously the Titan Titanic reference. Take ten? Yeah. Thank you. Six. That's probably not enough. Yeah, twenty-five needed. And I'm assuming that's oh no, it's not blocking the door. Huh. Okay. We must be able to open the door through a different map. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about how much it would suck to be like a a tiny space explorer without the tiny kin to help you out with this. 
Like, you've got some kind of agency, but... It's always nice to have, like, a... A friendly... Oh, I don't know about, like... I don't know. It's, it's nice to have things that are willing to help you, no questions asked. Jack! Oh, my Rose. I can't stop thinking about that night spent with her in that cabin. Alas, my family forbids me from seeing her again, believing that dung beetles make boring party companions. What a bunch of narrow-minded people! Mysterious stranger, I drew this portrait of Rose, thinking of her the day we met. My heart implores you to deliver it to her on my behalf. Sure. Wait, hang on. This isn't going to work either. Because it's on the other side of the door. Uh, well, anyway. We'll be able to get 25 pink tinykins some other method. Oh, yeah, we're getting a lot of red ones. Hello? Lays. Meh, these holidays at home are so boring. Yeah, well, yeah, bro. Do we look like delivery people? Chill. Relax. By the way, what did you do with the letters you were supposed to deliver? Snooze. You told me at the last second, so I ditched my bag somewhere. I'll go back to get it later. Nah. People know the delivery times are approximate, right? And slop. They better. I'm not leaving here until we've had at least a little fun. They should give us some more time off. And you guys? Govin. Come to think of it, if the dung beetles are no longer allowed to come, who will take care of the cleaning? Ivan? We can take turns with that, right? How often do we have to do it? I'm afraid it has to be done after every party. What? Not cool, man. Not cool. If I have to clean that off, then I'm going to die. Yep. The realities of adult life, isn't it? Ah, I need to be on the other side. So, yeah, these guys are just stuck now. <laughs> ah, one letter. Wait, did I talk to you? Pierre. When I were a lad, I were a sculptor, my boy. Best of the best, then I found my pride and joy. A recipe for doom is bread, the recipe for happiness. I make it all myself, the dough, the modeling. Each loaf's a work of art, but you can eat it too. Okay. So I think that's just a, you get more um, pollen here. All right, so there's Sakaru. Right, let's grab these ones. And up. Hello. YOLO. Our houses? No need, man. We're here to have fun. Live each day like the last, dude. Man, I've not heard someone say YOLO in a, a very long time. Oh, I've reached reasons. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what's up here first. Hello. Oh, are these the organizers? Gotcha. Ma, what is this? A bathtub with no yacht? You might as well throw a party in a puddle. We need to get the yacht so the jet setters can come back. Uh huh. Jar. How am I supposed to get the party started without my laser? The dung beetles hit it up on that closet tower. I'm an artist, not a rock climber. Greta. Okay, maybe we overdid it on the volume last time we put on music, but man, cutting the wires from my radio? That's sad, man. I thought the dung beetles were cool, but they gotta fix my radio or they won't be invited here anymore. Scotto. Nobody wants to party around a boring swimming pool. We need bubbles, man, but the bubble bath has disappeared. I mean, there's a bottle of bubble bath over the bath, but... Just thinking about climbing up there is giving me a stitch. And Harvey. Yo, it's boiling down here. This is perfect. Taurus will be storming the bar. Alright, so you were... Uh, uh, yeah, fix the air conditioning then. Ah. Sweet. So I imagine those were kind of like DJ references? Because I can't think of why anyone would refer to Guetta or Getter if it wasn't going to be a DJ reference. Alright, so... Hello! Edison! Wonderful! You've done a great job with that radiator, Maladane. How about your friends go and take care of the radio next? It's for science, okay? Everyone loves science. I saw him taking notes while you were using the Tinykin. Right, but the question is, is how do we get to... Like, where do they go? Oh, it takes 25. I can't do that now, anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just thinking back to Pikmin. Like, if I had to call back the Tinykin from whatever they were doing to be able to do the next thing, as uh, it'd be fine, I guess. But it's a lot more streamlined to just like make them come towards you and not having to worry about their little lives being in danger. All right, 593, so still a bit away from getting another bubble. Hello. Skill Rex. Can, can, can you hear that? Yeah, nothing, man. We need some juice to get this thing blah, 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 blasting, you dig? All right, Skrillex. What are you? Timmy, Timitus, Timitus? Ever since the music stopped, it's like I've got something whistling in my ears. Is that normal? Timitus. What's this? Oh, that's a laser. Okay. Uh, let's grab whatever this is over here. Yep. Boing, boing. All right. Surely the insects would be like, oh yeah, don't don't go into the bath, dude, because. Uh, that's like the scariest place known for a, an insect of their size being washed away. Although I suppose, on average, chances are, it's more likely that you're going to be it's more likely that spiders are the things that get flushed down. Hello, Ridme. Edward, scissor hands. The scissors of the city are the, for the most exemplary of Balnear citizens. After what that stuck-up mayor did, looks like that position's free, friend. They'd be better off rusting at the bottom of the bath. Try to get to them and they'll go splash, man. Alright, are we done with this? Ah, oh, we need to go up. Yeah, the other thing that I've not commented on is that the music in this is quite serene. Because, as you can imagine, it is all a bit... It's all kind of chill out, do it at your own pace kind of stuff. Um... I do like the different kinds of, um, sort of the, the musical stylings that Pikmin has to say, right, you need to get a move on. But then I kind of like just, I like the Pikmin main menu theme, you know? Like the fact that it's a, a forestry theme, but with a, a hint of alien to it. 